Do you ever feel overwhelmed by the ever-changing world of technology? Tech It Out can help make some sense of it all. Breaking down geek speak into street speak, technology columnist, author, and TV personality Mark Saltzman covers consumer technology each week for every listener. Mark tackles the latest news, reviews, and how-tos to help you understand what's hot, what's not, and why. Hey everyone, welcome to Tech It Out. This is episode 159. Hope you're all doing well at the start of this third week of August. I trust that you and your loved ones are healthy and maybe you're getting the little ones off to school or the big ones back to school, though it's uh, likely to look a lot different this year, right? I've got a twin boy and girl going off to college in two weeks. So a little worried about them catching COVID, of course, and a younger son going into the 11th grade. And some of his learning will be online and some in class. It's going to be a mix, smaller class sizes and such. So strange days indeed. Anyhow, we will talk about education and technology this hour on Tech It Out when we touch base with Asus to chat about buying a laptop for school. We'll also catch up with Amber Mack, a celebrated tech expert. She's an author, a public speaker, TV and radio host. We're going to hear from her on some recommended gear for students and their parents as well and we're going to kick things off with a chat about pet tech in a moment okay so that one's not really tied to school at all but something high tech for pet parents and their beloved dogs and cats all of this coming up and more on this week's new tech it out powered by asus which as i mentioned will be on the show today as well but let's start off with some tech for pets Tech toys for pets aren't anything new, but they're getting more and more clever. From video cameras to check in on your dogs or cats that are at home, to high-tech leashes that light up at night, or a collar that you can track through GPS, there's something for all pet owners and budgets. And we're now going to learn about two fun ways to feed your furry friends with PetSafe. We're joined on the line by Sarah Bean. She's the category manager for water and feed solutions with the PetSafe brand. Welcome to the show, Sarah. Good to chat with you. Thank you. Hi, Mark. So look, before we talk about specific products, and I think there's two in particular that we're going to have a deeper dive into, please tell us a bit about the brand PetSafe. Absolutely. PetSafe brand is dedicated to keeping pets healthy, safe, and happy. Our portfolio spans seven categories, including harnesses, automatic litter box, pet fountains, and automatic feeders, just to name a few. We're owned by Radio Systems Corporation, and our products are available in more than 50 countries worldwide. Oh, very cool. I love the intersection of technology and pet products. Is this surprising to you? I'm assuming you've been in this space for a while. Not at all. And we love pets and technology coming together too. Pets have really become family family members. And just as we look to technology to improve our own lives, it follows that we start looking for devices that can improve our interactions with our pets, um, make care easier or more convenient, and enhance our pets' lives too. (laughs) <laughs> All right. So with that in mind, let's chat about the Smart Feed, which is the first of two PetSafe products we're going to look at. Yes, absolutely. So the PetSafe Smart Feed offers the most worry-free feeding experience with all the advantages we expect from our connected devices. Um, this product is really for any cat and small to mid-sized dog owner who wants to be able to feed their pet portion meals while they're busy or away. And that's even if busy is just sleeping until six when your cat thinks breakfast should be at five, because we know that that is a real struggle. Hmm. Um, setup is simple. Pet owners onboard the device, fill it with food. It holds approximately 24 cups or around a six pound bag of kibble. And then they can portion program their meal sizes and frequency via the app. From there, they know that their pet is always fed the right amount on time, even when their schedule changes. I think if not this feeder, there's another one that you have that where if your dog eats too fast, you can actually slow down the feeding process to spread it out over 15 minutes. Is that right? Yes. And we do have that feature. There are some extras here and that is called our slow feed setting. Right. Um, And it does. It dispenses um, whatever the meal size is over 15 minutes. And so that really does help our overeager pets slow their food consumption, um, which is is definitely good for for their digestion and their systems. Okay, awesome. What are some of the other features of this uh, product that may be separated from other feeders out there? Um, With our Generation 2 release last year, we added a low food notification to let customers know when they need to refill. And if they choose, SmartFeed can order more food from Amazon automatically. 
using their Dash Replenishment service. So that's really nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you join the smart feed to your Wi-Fi. Is that the first step and then download the app? Yeah, that onboarding is um, getting connected to Wi-Fi. Um, once you've downloaded the app, you're kind of walked through it right there in the app. Get connected to Wi-Fi, and as you're setting up, setting your meal sizes, you also have the opportunity to add a Amazon order if you wish. And we've also added, uh, it works with Alexa now, so you're, it allows you to feed your pet a snack by voice command. Oh, so we're continuing cool. to innovate and try to make, find ways to make Smart Feed even more convenient and valuable to our customers. So it's fun, and we use customer feedback all the time. I can see dogs and cats trying to mimic their owner's voices to try to make their smart speaker dispense a treat for them or something. That's yeah. that. That's pretty cute. Uh, are there limitations on the size of the food? Like you said kibble, for example, earlier, but th- does it have to be mm-hmm. really small bits of food or can it be uh, somewhat larger? And does it have to be dry only or could, it, could you do like semi-moist food? You can do uh, dry or semi-moist, okay. um, but definitely not a, a wet food right. um, because of the way that the dispenser works. Um, one of the things that we did with this design and um, some of our other products is we designed a very novel way of conveying the food from the hopper. Um, and that system of, provides a lot of flexibility with the shape of the food. It can have mixed shapes, which many cat foods do. And um, really any shape or size works up into about three quarters of an inch in diameter. So only some of the really larger dog kibbles um, are, are the only ones that, um, you know, really struggles to measure accurately. Um, but that was really important in this because we know that, that food choice is so, is so personal and, and important to pet owners. If you find one your pet likes, you really don't want to change. So we really uh, strive to, to, to make a system that works with, with almost any type of food. All right. And then finally, how much does the Smart Feed automatic pet feeder cost? Prices start at $169 in the U.S. and um, $229 in Canada. Okay. So that's called Smart Feed from PetSafe. Yes. We are chatting with Sarah Bean. She is the category manager for water and feed solutions with PetSafe. We're going to now learn about another product called the automatic two meal feeder. Kind of explains what it does, but maybe you can elaborate a bit. Yes, this one is a little self-explanatory. <laughs> this one is, uh, we do have a, a selection of feeders and this one at nineteen ninety five in the U.S. is a clever and affordable pet gadget. Um, this feeder is really for any cat or small to mid-sized dog owner who wants to be able to feed a pet while they're busy or away and wants something very intuitive and easy. At this price, it's also a great option for customers who may want to try an automatic feeder with their pets for the first time. I know as a cat owner, all of all of us cat owners now, our, our cats can be fickle. So sometimes we're concerned that they won't adopt to something. So um, this is a great option for that. And how does this work? Because at only $20, I don't assume there's a yes. lot of like tech to it. It's, it sounds... It's, yeah. it's very straightforward. Sure. So as the name suggests, there are two food compartments that open separately. They each hold up to a cup and a half, so they can be filled with dry or semi-moist kibble or treats. There's a lot of flexibility with this one. And the timers can be set up to 24 hours in advance in half hour increments. So you could set one side to open for breakfast and put treats in the other side and have it open to distract your pets during your afternoon conference calls. Um, a right. lot of a lot of uses. <laughs> so no, so no Wi-Fi or apps or anything like that needed on this. It's a it's, no it's a local timer based on yeah, like right on the local timer. Mm-hmm. Very easy, um, you know, very easy and intuitive, kind of out of the box. You know exactly what to do. You know, sometimes a low tech solution is the best one. And as you said, for under $20, you don't really have yes. anything to lose here. So it sounds like a smart solution for both cats and dogs, as you mentioned. And yes. that's simply called the automatic two meal feeder. Because this is radio, Sarah, maybe you can explain a bit how it looks. There's two dials on this unit, right? Um, yes, there are two dials on the unit, two timer dials. Mm-hmm. Um, so each side has an independent timer. All right. Um, and so the, the customer just uh, sets that timer for um, however many hours in advance that they, they want um, that side to open. Um, and, and then it will pop open at that time. 
And uh, as we're saying with this one, it is, it's very small. It's about the size of a, a little smaller than a cereal box. Um, so it's very portable and it runs on batteries. Um, so that's another nice aspect of this one is it's easy to take with you. I think both of these solutions are great for pet parents who feel like they need to rush home to feed their dogs or cats on time. That might be a thing of the past with uh, these products. Is there a website where you'd recommend, Sarah, to have a look? And then also, where could these be purchased uh, online and at retail? Absolutely. So um, these can be purchased. Uh, PetSafe.com is um, all of these products are available. And you'll also find them on most major online retailers and in stores with um, many of our uh, your favorite pet specialty retailers. Okay. So probably more of the pet specialty stores than big box electronics stores, but sometimes there's some crossover. Yes, yeah. sometimes there is. Okay. Sarah Bean from PetSafe, thank you so much for your time and have a great rest of the summer. Take care. Thank you. You're listening to Tech It Out, powered by Asus, for those in search of incredible. Asus creates technology for today and tomorrow's smart life, including its line of award-winning laptops and desktops, monitors, smartphones, tablets, smart watches, and much more. For those in search of incredible, visit asus.com slash us slash radio for more info. That's asus.com forward slash us forward slash radio. And as I mentioned, they will be on the show coming up after this short break. We're going to catch up with Becca Truong to chat with us about back to school laptops, what to look for in one and some recommended models. We'll learn about the difference between Vivo books and expert books, Zen books and Chromebooks, because it can be overwhelming when you're trying to buy a laptop to suit your needs and budget. So stay with us. You are listening to Tech It Out on the Radio America Network. I'm your host, Mark Saltzman. That's Mark with a C, Saltzman with a Z. We'll be right back. Listen to Tech It Out whenever you want. Find the Check It Out podcast at iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome back to Tech It Out. While this year may look a little different than previous ones, it is back to school time, and technology will continue to play a key role in a student's education, if not more so this year with many millions of kids learning online. And so what kind of a computer should you buy? And what are the latest features to look for? To answer these questions and some others, we're joined on the line by Becca Truong from Asus. Welcome to the show, Becca. Ah, thanks for having me, Mark. Or I should say welcome back to the show. <laughs> so for those who aren't too familiar with Asus, they've probably seen the, the logo, the brand, ASUS, but maybe they're not too familiar with all that you do. Can you give us a quick refresher on what Asus is all about? Sure thing. So at Asus, we create cutting edge and innovative technologies and hardware for today and tomorrow's smart life. So mostly we're originally known for some of the world's best motherboards, but now we create everything from monitors and PC components to laptops, desktops, phones, and other personal smart devices. Um, our products also cater to a lot of different crowds and use cases. So whether you're an everyday casual user or a hardcore gamer or even a creative or business professional, Asus definitely has a product out there for you. For sure. And if you are a gamer, you probably know of your sub brand, let's call it ROG or Republic of Gamers. It's a line of uh, laptops and desktops and accessories for the more discerning computer gamer out there. You even have an ROG phone right? A smartphone that is really souped up in the performance department. Yes, that was one of our most recent announcements, the ROG Phone 3, um, completely decked mm -hmm. out with a lot of gaming features um, and really recommend any gamers to look out for the launch later this year. Okay, cool. Now, before that all takes place, back to school is here and it's a busy season for laptop shoppers, no doubt. Before we talk about specific Asus models, what are some important considerations when it comes to shopping for a laptop? Something... I personally really recommend when looking for a laptop or, you know, basically any new device really is to sit down and list out all the features and capabilities you really need in one, um, since this is a device you'll have for, you know, at least a few years. So, um, for example, if you're looking for a laptop that works as both a gaming machine and a day-to-day -day laptop for college, your wants and needs will be very different from someone who only wants a laptop for watching videos and doing schoolwork, um, as they may have, you know, another desktop that they use for or other dedicated tasks. Um, and, you know, beyond just your day-to-day -day use, um, it's important to note that a lot of today's laptops have really cool features that weren't present 
five, 10 years ago. From our own catalog, you can choose from touchscreens to dual touchscreen laptops or laptops that can run the same games as you could on a dedicated gaming desktop. So overall, it's really important from the get-go to make sure you decide which features you absolutely need and ones that you can live without, as there are plenty of options out there that cater to basically anyone's preferences these days. And then that dual screen experience you were talking about, are you referring to your screen pad? And if so, can you tell us a bit about that? Yes. Um, so we have a new feature that came out uh, very, not very recently, but a few years ago, that's called the screen pad. So that's a basically imagine a phone screen embedded in your touch screen. It's full color. It's touch screen. You can use it to multitask, pull up notes, um, pull up different applications from that screen pad. Most recently, we did announce the Zephyrus Duo 15, which is our second laptop that uses a ScreenPad Plus, which goes from both sides of the laptop to create a longer touchscreen, dual screen kind of factor, form factor um, for, you know, at the next level of uh, multitasking. Right. So the original screen pad, it was built into the touchpad. So where the mouse area is typically built into a laptop, there was that second screen there that was not just for video, but it was interactive as well and, and customizable. And then the screen pad plus, I think you called it, is where there's a second screen just under the main one. And it's actually much wider. It's, it's the width of the laptop yes. that does also give you some yeah really cool multitasking capabilities. All right. So I wanted to explain that. So screen pad. Now, Asus does have many different kinds of laptops. I think there's four, if I'm not mistaken. There's Vivo Books, Zen Books, which is what I have, Chromebooks, and Expert Books. Do you mind walking us through the differences between the four? Yeah, sure thing. So those are the names of our four um, consumer devices. We consumer laptops, I should say. We also have a range of gaming laptops from our Republic of Gamers and Tough Gaming brands. Um, but just to go over kind of our consumer laptops, uh, we have the VivoBook, ZenBook, and ExpertBooks uh, rounding out our lineup for Windows laptops. Um, for those are, who are looking for an everyday laptop, our VivoBooks are a great choice. They have a ton of color options, um, anything from an iridescent white color that we just launched to pink, green, red, blue. So um, definitely a, a great option for those who are looking for a bit more customization and flair in their laptop. They're also both powerful and fast. They use an SSD, um, a solid state drive that is um, a lot faster than your traditional hard drive in terms of, you know, grabbing documents and loading those up. Um, and I would definitely recommend the Vivo book for um, students of all ages. Moving on to our Zen books, they are our more premium notebooks for those looking for cutting edge features like the screen bad we discussed earlier to boost productivity. It has an even more lightweight form factor. So, um, great for college students who have an internship they're doing on the side that they kind of want that extra productivity and um, speed and performance. Um, and I, I would also recommend it as a great choice for students in general who are looking for those premium features um, like the screen pad. It also has a bit more durability in terms of, you know, withstanding drops um, and, you know, other day-to-day -day activities. That's the ZenBook family. Yeah, very sleek. So Vivo Books, all about personal personality and color and style and some uh, really impressive features, good bang for your buck. And then ZenBook is more of your premium, more top of the line, cutting edge. This is your innovation skew where you've got these uh, really cool technologies like ScreenPad, if I may paraphrase you. And then when we return on Tech It Out, we'll continue chatting with Becca Truong from Asus about expert books and Chromebooks, and what they bring to the table. We'll be right back. Stick with us. Want to follow Mark? Google him. Mark with a C and Saltzman with a Z. Breaking down geek speak into street speak. This is Tech It Out. Tech It Out with technology columnist, author, and TV personality, Mark Saltzman. Welcome back to Tech It Out, everyone. It's back to school time, and I'm chatting with Becca Truhong from Asus about what to look for when you're shopping for a laptop for the student in your home or possibly multiple students, and whether they're learning in class or whether they're learning at home or a bit of both, as what we're experiencing here where I live with my three kids. They're going to need a computer, a reliable computer, in order to get their work done. You know, I often describe tech as like need to have and nice to have, and I would argue a computer is definitely 
a need to have. Before the break, Becca, we learned about Vivo books, colorful, stylish, sort of everyday laptops. Then we learned about Zen books, which are more sort of cutting edge technology, you know, premium features. It's really the heart of the innovation at Asus. And now we're going to learn about Chromebooks and expert books. So let's start with sort of the business grade laptops, because as I mentioned earlier in our chat, it's not just for students, but also for parents of students who might need a business grade computer. Yes, that's right. Um, so expert books are our more business class laptops. It's designed for those who travel often um, when they can and you know need that extra durability. It also has some more IT friendly features. So for specifically for smaller businesses, this would be good. Um, but it has built in security features. It has an all day battery life and extremely lightweight form factor. So um, also a good option for students who are looking for, you know, top tier performance for features like all day battery life um, and for someone who's, you know, on the go a lot. Um, and finally, just to round out our kind of laptop lineup, we have the Chromebooks, which are great for those who prefer Chrome OS and are familiar with Chrome OS from Google, or those who are looking for a more simpler PC experience, those who aren't as tech savvy um, and aren't as familiar with Windows laptops. So we have an extensive lineup of Chromebooks. We offer everything from um, the more affordable, school-ready, education-focused Chromebooks. Um, these are you know, built to withstand day-to-day -day activities. They're built to kind of cater to a younger audience of um, maybe first-time PC users. We also have more premium notebooks um, from the Chromebook line, including the C436, which is more geared for business users who really like that Chrome OS experience. So overall, we, we have an extensive lineup of laptops for pretty much all ages, all students, and their needs. We used to say that Chromebooks were great for students only, like a, a value-priced uh, solution and all that, but that's not really the case anymore. It's really sort of matured as an operating system, Chrome OS, which, as you called out, is owned by Google, and it does have some appeal to everyday computing and, and business persons as well. Yes, Um I uh, really mm -hmm. re would recommend the C436 Flip. Um, as you said, it's, it has a lot of business-oriented features. It's a lot more premium and to kind of the look and the feel. Um, and it's really geared towards those power users that you were talking about that you know, may, might prefer Chrome OS over Windows OS. We're chatting with Becca Truong. She is from Asus. We're learning about their lineup of laptops specifically. She's teaching us the difference between Vivo books, Zen books, Chromebooks, and expert books, some of which are more suitable for students. We are talking back to school and others are maybe for their parents who also may be working from home, just as many students will be schooling from home. Before we move on, Becca, and I'm going to ask you to recommend a couple of other models. You already did mention a Chromebook that we should keep our eye on, but you use the word flip earlier. So that, of course, implies the screen bends back on a 360 degree hinge as my Zen book does. So that is a cool feature that uh, we haven't actually really touched on yet. And Asus has a fleet of these. So it's not just a touchscreen laptop, but in many cases, they convert from a laptop to a tablet and back again. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we, we do have the flip options available for um, our Vivo books, our Zen books, our Chromebooks. This is a great feature for those who really want that kind of tablet mode feature, um, especially with the touchscreen compatibility. It's great for those who are, you know, looking to take notes or those who, you know, are really interested in those kind of creative aspects from, you know, sketching or drawing with a touchscreen. So this has a 360 degree hinge. So you can also kind of set it up like a tent um, and watch a video or, or um, watch a lecture that's going on um, without kind of having to prop it up differently. So I uh, will really recommend that for anyone who's looking for that touchscreen capability or a more tablet-like experience. Okay, awesome. All right, so Becca, whether students are going to be learning from home or spending time in class, uh, can you recommend another model or two that we should consider? Yeah, um, for back to school, I would definitely recommend our ZenBook 15, which comes with that awesome screen pad feature that we've been talking about. Um, that screen pad feature is, um, again, a second screen that's embedded in the touchpad. It's great for students especially. Um, those who are following along in a lecture can pull up their notes on the screen pad. They can use the calculator at the same time. So a lot of compatible apps make the screen pad a great option for those who want that extra productivity. Um, 
especially during school or business or um, what have you. I'd also recommend the VivaBook S15. Um, it's from our VivaBook line, so it's guaranteed to be stylish. It's guaranteed to be, guaranteed to be powerful and fast. Um, and it's great for everyday tasks as well as schooling. It starts at 699 US dollars, so great for those who have a specific budget in mind. Um, and finally, for our younger students, um, I would definitely recommend basically anything from our ASUS Chromebook education lineup. Um, these options start around 230 US dollars, so they're great for um, younger students who might not be too familiar with the Windows laptop or using a PC uh, in general. Um, and we have a lot of different features um, and options and configurations from something that's more durable that can withstand falls. And for older students, maybe in primary school, there's also touchscreen options for those who are students who want the extra touchscreen compatibility for, you know, arts and crafts and sort of those creative endeavors. So um, a lot of options out there. I would definitely recommend the ASUS Chromebook education lineup for anyone who's looking for um, a laptop for younger students, especially. Okay, and then the best place to start is at, is it asus.com? Yes, um, and if you want to learn more about all of our laptops for back to school, you can visit our website at asus.com slash US. It's asus.com slash US. Right, take you to the right place so you can see the lineup of laptops for students and, hey, their parents, so for kids and kids at heart. Uh, there you go. Becca, thank you so much for your time. I always enjoy chatting with you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mark. Take care. The website, once again, is asus.com, or as I often plug on this show, as Asus is the title sponsor, asus.com forward slash US forward slash radio. So when we return on Tech It Out, we're going to continue our chat about back to school technology. We're going to focus on several gadgets and some gear that is ideal for students of various ages, as well as some things for parents as well. When we catch up with Amber Mack, she is a celebrated and seasoned technology expert. She's been on this program many times before. I've worked with her in the past. She's awesome. So hang tight. We'll be right back with more Tech It Out. Breaking down geek speak into street speak. Tech It Out. Hosted by Mark Saltzman. You're listening to Tech It Out on the Radio America Network. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, it's almost back to school time already, but this year may look a lot different depending on where you live in the country and what school board you're with, of course, as it'll either be online only, a modified in-classroom setup, or perhaps a bit of both, a, a hybrid approach, because of COVID-19, of course. Regardless, technology will play a critical role, more so than ever, probably. And so who better to talk to than tech expert Amber Mack on tech that makes the grade? Welcome back to the show, Amber. Good to chat with you. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. Why don't we start off with something most students have in their pocket, and that is a smartphone, you've got an accessory that you'd like to recommend. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I know for a lot of parents who uh, are sending their kids back to school, and if that means they're going back into the classroom, we're thinking more and more about those things that kids may have in their pockets, whether it is a set of keys or a smartphone or even their glasses. And what I wanted to talk about is this really cool UV clean sanitizer bag. It's from Hometics at Best Buy. And the idea is essentially that uh, when you walk into the house and you want to sanitize any items you've had in your pocket or in another bag, you simply drop them into this portable sanitization bag and very quickly within one minute, it will sanitize and uh, it, it destroys bacteria, viruses, proteins, and more. And I think for a lot of parents, this will be peace of mind. Yeah. And parents can use it too. Of course, I, I actually have this Hometic sanitizer bag as well as UV clean. It's pretty neat. It's like a little pouch that you open up with the zipper, drop in your keys, your phone, what have you, and close it up, press a button and as you said, in less than a minute, it sanitizes it. So it's a very uh, smart and timely device. And I think it sells for just about 80 bucks. Is that right? Yeah, you can get it online at uh, Best Buy. And uh, yeah, I think it's a good price point. And you're exactly right. I mean, it can work for the whole family. And uh, I think, you know, like many families, mine included, I've been thinking a lot about uh, all of those things that we tend to have on us and touch a lot throughout the day. Yeah, no doubt. And a smartphone is something we probably touch a few hundred times a day if the experts that I've talked to are... <laughs> <laughs> uh, are accurate. Uh, and then something else that I think the whole family could benefit from, but also ideal for students schooling from home, and that's a smart deadbolt lock. Maybe you could talk to us about that. 
Yeah, so this is from Schlage. It's called the Encode Smart Wi-Fi Deadbolt. And I love these smart locks. I think it's just, again, it's just ease of use. So the idea being that uh, you essentially uh, replace the, the lock on your door with one of these smart door locks, and it connects to your Wi-Fi. That means uh, that you can easily download the app and create unique codes. So let's say you have a son and daughter who are starting to walk to school on their own, coming in and out of the house. You can give them each a uni unique code that you'll be able to basically monitor to see as they come in and out. Uh, this isn't just great, of course, for, for back to school and students, but just thinking as parents maybe ease back into back to work and who are coming in and out of the house. Uh, again, maybe you have a house cleaner or someone you want to let in. And with these codes, you can do just that. Yeah, it's great because, you know, we have three kids, as you know, Amber, and we've always said to them, yeah, you got you have your key, right? Yes, dad, I got my key. It's in my backpack or in my, you know, whatever. I've got it in my purse, my daughter would say. But now this is like for latchkey kids, this is a smart idea because you just have to know your code to get into the home. And uh, as a parent, you can see when they come and go. I've got three teenagers, so I'd like to kind of know because <laughs> we're at the stage, Amber, where Kelly and I, we go to sleep sooner than when they get home. <laughs> so we want to know, like, did you really come home at 1230, like you said, or is it closer to one or whatever? So that, again, is called the Schlage Encode Smart Wi-Fi Deadbolt. Sells for about $215. And, and like you said, it's really cool that you can send what's called an e-key, an electronic key uh, to uh, someone like a, a housekeeper who maybe only cleans your home on, say, Saturdays from, say, 12 till 5. Instead of uh, her needing a, a special key or anything like that, you could just send her a code to her phone that will work throughout those hours of the day that you've specified. Yeah, so it's it's super simple. You can create actually up to 100 unique codes. And I should mention that you can also still use a key. So uh, there are those times, of course, people think, well, what if you know everything fails and then the battery's gone? and I need to use right. a key, it does have that option as well. So you are covered no matter how you need to get into your home. Now, you could have the best computer, you can have the sleekest smartphone, but none of it is worth anything if you don't have strong Wi-Fi. So talk to us about this new TP-Link range extender. Yeah, so I think you're exactly right. I would say during the past uh, few months, I think one of the most common questions I got is, hey, there's places in my house where I can't get Wi-Fi and I have to work and my kid has to do online school. What do I do about that? So when we talk about range extenders, they can, these can be a very affordable solution. This one I wanted to chat about is from TP-Link. It's the AX1800. And essentially what it does is extends the range of your Wi-Fi. So let's say, for example, you have hard to reach corners of your house where there are a lot of wireless pain points, you can set this in one of those regions and it will essentially basically extend your Wi-Fi to that part of your home. Uh, it also comes with an app that you can download on your phone and access parental controls. And this is really great, Mark. My son has been playing a lot of uh, Fortnite over the summer. So when it gets back to school time, I love the idea that uh, I can encourage him to do homework during homework time and uh, I can really manage his access to Wi-Fi as well through this app. Okay. So it's the TP-Link AI. 1800 range extender and we are seeing a lot of parents uh, working from home we have the students schooling from home often with siblings so that can all put uh, some strain on your wireless network and and when you've got a range extender you can uh, you know you can work in different parts of the house so you're not all one on top of uh, the other so great stuff we are chatting with amber mack she's a, of course a celebrated tech expert who has been on the show several times in the past to talk about the latest in tech we're chatting back to school gadgets and when when we return on the program, we're going to learn about a new smart printer from HP and a handful of other gadgets. We are once again chatting with Amber Mack. So stick with us on Tech It Out because we have a lot more coming up in the next block. This show is powered by Asus. For those in search of incredible, Asus creates technology for today and tomorrow's smart life. Head over to asus.com slash US slash radio for more. We'll be right back on the Radio American Network. Follow Mark Saltzman on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Listen to Tech It Out whenever you want. We are chatting with Amber Mack. She's a tech expert who's been on the show several times in the past to talk about the latest in tech. We're chatting back to school gadgets and then a printer. We're not quite in a paperless society just yet. Uh, so whether it's for, for fun or for schoolwork, you've got a uh, smart home printer to chat about. 
Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of families will go back to school this season, no matter uh, where they are or whether it's online or uh, in person. And I think there'll be new routines. So one of the things that I found during the early days of the pandemic is we were printing a lot of schedules to understand what virtual school looked like. So this is the HP Tango Smart Home Printer. And uh, what's really cool about this is just it makes printing a cinch so you can do so simply from your phone. Uh, I love that idea, again, that you can print easily. Sometimes printing can be a bit of a pain. I think we all, all have experienced that as far as setup, and they make it really simple with this uh, printer. Uh, what's also cool about this, uh, and I'm sure you're familiar with this as well, they have an instant ink program so that you never run out of ink. So it's an automated program for parents to ensure that ink is coming to the house on a monthly basis um, as you run low because there's little sensors in the printer. Right. It detects when you're running low and uh, will preemptively order you more ink to your door. The HP Tango is on sale for $99 at BestBuy.com. And then finally, a smartphone. Um, this is obviously something that's great for uh, students of any age. I'd say like fifth or sixth grade and up, but parents don't hold me to that. <laughs> but especially if they're walking to school uh, alone or coming home alone, that kind of thing, uh, a smartphone is a great pick. And you don't have to break the bank on these devices. Yeah, you know, this is a really great trend that I've been seeing for back to school is these affordable smartphones. And I know you've been talking about a couple as well. Uh, this is the Google Pixel 4a. And what's great about this, I'm going to go right to the price, uh, $479.99. So under $500. And you get the amazing power of a Pixel phone. Uh, uh, an incredible camera as well. Uh, you also get voice assistant. Uh, so their Google Assistant, of course, for help on the go. Um, it even has an adaptive battery. And this is something pretty cool that I think a lot of people don't recognize. Uh, the idea being that um, it requires less charging and uh, gives you really more flexibility. So it adapts to when you use your favorite apps and reduces power on the ones that you rarely use. So um, that's great, again, for kids who leave a bunch of apps open on their phone all the time. So uh, this is a an excellent pick, I think, for back to school. And uh, uh, like you said, a good entry phone, I think, as well. I mean, I would use this phone, and I think it's also good for a first phone for a lot of students. For sure. Some phones can be well over 2000 if you go with the most storage and the best cameras and all that. So that's out of reach for many uh, parents of students. But the Google Pixel 4a does give a lot of bang for the buck without question. And, and photography is super important for a smartphone owner and students are no exception. So you do get all of that, even with the sub $350 price point for the unlocked Pixel 4a. And then you can go up in storage to 549 and then up to $899 for the top of the line model. But still, again, you can look at easily twice that price with uh, many other premium smartphones. Okay, again, that's the Google Pixel 4a, a great uh, device. Amber, it's always great to chat with you. If we want to see these products in action, I know you've got them on your website. Can you give us a plug to that? Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, check out uh, all of the links over on my website at ambermac.com. All right, ambermac.com. Amber, thanks again for your time. All the best to you and the fam during this back to school season. <laughs> thanks so much, Mark. And one more suggestion for a back to school tech tool, I would recommend an external hard drive. Uh, Western Digital has a line of passports and other kinds of external drives that you can snap into a laptop in order to drag and drop your important files onto just in case something happens. Yes, I do like cloud storage as well. Sites like Dropbox and OneDrive and Google Drive and iCloud and all that are fine, but it's also nice to have an offline local solution in case uh, something happens to the internet as as well. So I trust WD hard drives. We had them on as a guest last week and search that in the archives of uh, the podcast if you want to check out that chat. So that's what I'd recommend. And one last time, I want to thank the title sponsor of this program. They were also a guest on today, Becca Truong from Asus. Asus creates technology for today and tomorrow's smart life. Asus, for those in search of incredible, head over to asus.com slash US slash radio for more info. That's asus.com forward slash us forward slash radio. Hey, if you're on social media, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, or YouTube, you can follow me at Mark with a C, Saltzman with a Z, and I write a tech tip of the day that I think you might like. Little tech tips, little hacks to get more out of your technology, ways to save you money or time or aggravation. If you do want to follow me once again on Twitter, I'm at Mark underscore Saltzman. That's Mark with a C, S-A-L-T-Z-M-A-N. On Instagram, it's simply Mark Saltzman. 
Sports in one word, and same with LinkedIn. And I look forward to seeing you online. You can also hit me up with questions or comments about Tech It Out. Maybe you've got suggestions for upcoming guests or topics you'd like me to tackle. So thank you for tuning in to Tech It Out, everyone. I hope you had a great weekend and have a healthy and safe week ahead. And I look forward to catching up with you next weekend on Radio America's Tech It Out, syndicated across the country. Be well. Thank you.